welcome to the mathematics of my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral integral from 0 to pi over 2 sin square of x times natural log of sin of x dx okay how to begin well first uh, I'm going to define a function f of n is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine raised to the n plus 2 power of x dx then i'm going to differentiate with respect to n so here we know f dash of n is equal to integral form 0 to pi over 2 here uh, we have this function uh, so we know the derivative of the derivative of a to the x uh, we know a to the x times natural log of a so here um, now we know this is equal to uh, derivative uh, sine raised to the n plus 2 here x times here natural log of a so natural log of sine of x dx then uh, if we plug in 0 here we know f dash of 0 is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 here we know sine square of x times natural log of sine of x dx this is our integral so we know our integral is equal to f dash of 0 okay then uh, we should evaluate f dash of 0 so again i am going to take uh, our function f of n is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 sine raised to the n plus 2 power of x uh, then um, we know uh, we can use uh, beta function so here we know we can uh, multiply by 1 and we know 1 we can uh, write as a cosine raised to the 0 power of x dx okay then uh, we know uh, beta function beta of mn is equal to 2 times uh, 0 to pi over 2 uh, sine raised to the 2m minus 1 power of x times cosine raised to the 2n minus 1 power of x dx so uh, now I am going to make powers uh, like this so here yeah, uh, we can write 0 to pi over 2 now here yeah, sine raised to the 2 times n plus 3 over 2 uh, then we know 2 2 get cancelled n plus 3 here n plus 2 so minus 1 here x times cosine to the 2 times 1 half minus 1 of x dx well then now we know uh, we can write uh, this integral uh, using beta function so here uh, here 2 so 1 half 1 half uh, beta of mn we know m is equal to n plus 3 over 2 comma here 1 half okay then uh, we know the relation uh, between gamma function and beta function so uh, we can write uh, f of n is equal to f of n is equal to one half now beta of n plus 3 over 2 comma one half we know this is equal to gamma of n plus 3 over 2 times gamma of one half over gamma of n plus n so gamma of n plus 3 over 2 plus one half okay then uh, we know gamma of one half gamma of one half we know square root of pi so here square root of pi over 2 uh, then here in the numerator we have gamma of n plus 3 over 2 
over uh, here we can simplify n plus 4 over 2 so gamma of n over 2 plus 2 okay we know this is equal to f of n now we should evaluate f dash of 0 so uh, again we can differentiate with respect to n so here uh, f dash of n is equal to the square root of pi sorry square root of pi over 2 uh, times now uh, we should uh, use uh, quotient rule so here in the denominator we have gamma square of n over 2 plus 2 and here uh, rewrite this function again so gamma of n over 2 plus 2 then derivative of the numerator so we know gamma dash of n plus 3 over 2 uh, times we should uh, multiply by coefficient of n so 1 over 2 uh, then minus now uh, rewrite uh, this function so gamma of n plus 3 over 2 times derivative of this function so gamma dash of n over 2 plus 2 times 1 half okay then uh, we need to f dash of 0 so if we plug in 0 here uh, we will have f dash of 0 so f dash of 0 is equal to here uh, square root of pi over 2 here 1 half so we can take 1 half as a common factor so uh, square root of pi over 4 uh, here gamma of this is equal to 0 so gamma of 2 uh, times gamma dash of 3 over 2 uh, minus gamma of 3 over 2 times here we know gamma dash of 2 over here uh, gamma square of 2 okay then uh, we know gamma of 2 is equal 1 so gamma square of 2 also equal to 1 here also gamma of 2 we know this is equal to 1 okay then mm, sorry then mm, we can write uh, f dash of 0 is equal to f dash of 0 is equal to square root of pi over 4 square root of pi over 4 then here we have gamma dash of 3 over 2 uh, here also gamma dash of uh, 2 now we know uh, this relation um, derivative of natural log of gamma of x we know gamma dash of x over gamma of x is equal to di gamma of x so uh, we can isolate gamma dash of x we know gamma of x times di gamma of x so we can write here gamma dash of 3 over 2 we can write gamma of 3 over 2 times di gamma of 3 over 2 di gamma of 3 over 2 uh, minus then here again gamma of 3 over 2 now gamma dash of 2 we know gamma of 2 times di gamma of 2 di gamma of 2 uh, and the denominator we have only 1 ok then um, here uh, gamma of 3 over 2 here also gamma of 3 over 2 so we can take gamma of 3 over 2 as a common factor and we know gamma of 3 over 2 gamma of uh, gamma of 3 over 2 is equal to uh, square root of pi over 2 so here square root of pi over 2 so square root of pi times square root of pi we know pi over 8 pi over 8 and here we have now gamma di gamma of 3 over 2 di gamma of 3 over 2 
we know uh, 2 minus gamma gamma we know Euler's mass coronic constant minus natural log of 4 uh, then here uh, gamma of 3 over 2 uh, we took as a common factor and gamma of 2 we know 1 and here di gamma of 2 di gamma of 2 we know di gamma of 2 is equal to 1 minus Euler's mass coronic constant okay then um, here uh, pi over 8 times now minus gamma here plus gamma so gamma get cancelled and 2 minus 1 we know 1 minus natural log of 4 and we know this is uh, f dash of 0 and we know this is equal to our integral okay this is the answer if you like this video and my other videos uh, please subscribe this channel thank you for watching